Welcome back everybody, this is Mobala12. Before I get into the topic for this video, I want to give a quick little update, okay? And I want to talk about the course of this channel, where I want this channel to eventually end up going. So, some of the updates. Uh, so I made a Facebook fan page, so feel free to check that out. The link will be in the description box down below. So check that out, definitely like it if you want. Um, and the fan page, basically the whole point of it is for you guys to be able to have more direct contact with me. If you have any questions, feel free to ask questions. Any ideas, feel free to post it on that Facebook fan page because it will be way quicker and way easier for me to access that and address those types of questions and comments immediately. And some of the things that I'll be doing for the fan page will be updating, uh, actually uploading videos so any type of chemistry physics whatever type of video I'll be doing for that day I'll be uploading it onto Facebook before I upload it onto YouTube so it'll be the first place you can find those videos will be Facebook okay so that's the Facebook fan page um, I'll be uploading funny little pictures once in a while feel free to make comments upload anything within reason don't put any R-rated pictures on there, but um, yeah, just feel free to make comments, suggestions, things to that effect. Definitely there will be videos on there too. Um, so videos, okay? Um, some of the videos I'll be doing in this next string of series of videos will be all organic chemistry. Eventually I'll be moving away from organic chemistry and I'll move into general chemistry topics. Um, from the general chemistry topics, I'll probably move into physical chemistry topics, um, which will be for the upper division classes that you guys might have to take. So like the harmonic oscillator, particle in a box, things to that effect. Um, so yeah, those types of videos, and that's the order I'm going to be making my videos from now on. So videos will be going from, uh, again, organic chemistry to general chemistry, then eventually um, physical chemistry and then I might add some physics, math, whatever, okay? So th those are videos and hopefully I intend on uploading on a, uploading videos on a you know regular basis. Hopefully we'll see. It depends on my computer. As you guys know from my previous video, my computer is pretty junky, okay? And finally t-shirts. Uh, eventually I plan on making some t-shirts. I, I think it'll be fun. I think it's a nice way to um, connect with the people that watch the videos. You know, feel free to give some ideas some suggestions for what type of t-shirts you guys like what do you want to see on the t-shirt and you can actually make suggestions on the Facebook fan page and that will actually be really helpful and again this won't be coming out anytime soon I want to get a, just an idea just to get a little drift of where you guys stand in regards to the t-shirts so give me some suggestions some ideas and we'll go from there okay so that's a quick little update and uh, yeah let's move on to the topic for this video which is cyanohydrin formation. Again, the link to my fan page will, uh, will be down in the description box. So, cyanohydrin formation, what is all that about, okay? So, the typical reaction will be aldehyde or ketone, okay? We're still on the aldehyde ketone functional groups. They react with HCN, NACN, and you get your cyanohydrin cyanohydrin okay. now the name itself cyanohydrin tells you exactly what will be found in the products this piece right here will, will tells you that you'll have a cyanide group there the CN group and this hydrogen part tells you you have an OH group okay so again aldehyde or ketone HCN and ACN gives you cyanohydrin okay remember that so let's go into some examples then we'll talk about the reaction mechanism and then I think that will end the video at that. So some some examples, let's just say we have this aldehyde right here. Again this reacts with aldehydes or ketones. We have H C N N A C N, right? Now label your star carbon, which is your carbon of your carbonyl, right? And all you have to do in order to draw the product is remove the double bonded oxygen and attach a CN group and an OH group to the carbon of, the, of that carbon, you know, the star carbon. So it looks something like this. Here's your aldehyde and you have your OH and your CN. So there's your star carbon. Very simple. Replace the double bonded oxygen with a CN and an OH and there's your product. Let's go over another example. 
here we have my favorite cyclohexanone and we use the same reagent so I'll put quotation marks there again label your star carbon which is the carbon of the carbonyl and you're going to replace that double bonded O with an OH and a CN pretty much it very simple okay that's how you do it no tricks just replace the double bonded O CN and OH and there you have your product okay so let's go over the mechanism and I think we'll leave it at that so again this works with aldehydes and ketones and you form your cyanohydrin so the mechanism is a two-step mechanism very simple we'll start off with this with this ketone here okay so you have your HCN let me actually do like this H C N okay so what happens in the first step is that the pi electrons from this carbon oxygen double bond will attack the this hydrogen of this HCN so like that okay this bond right here will go on to the cyanide to give you that negative charge so you generate from this first step a CN minus okay and you generate this intermediate which is an OH and a positive charge right there okay now the CN minus from that first step is going to is going to attack the position that carbon that bears that positive charge and there's your product right there that's pretty much it that's the reaction mechanism very simple very simple so again the pi electrons from that carbon oxygen double bond attacks that H you shift that bond onto the CN the CN minus that's generated from the first step comes back to attack the carbon of that what used to be the carbon of the carbonyl now that carbon has a positive charge so that CN minus comes and attacks that carbon right there that bears that positive charge and you get your product let's label our star carbon so you guys can see where everything is at and there you have it that's the reaction mechanism nice and easy okay so again cyanohydrin formation is a very simple um, reaction you start off with an aldehyde ketone react it with HCN and ACN and you get your product, the cyanohydrin, which is an, which contains an alcohol and a CN attached to the carbon of that carbonyl. And that's pretty much it for this video. Again, going back, and I'll leave it at that for specifically that reaction. But just going back to that update again, link in the description box in regards to my Facebook fan page. And yeah, I, I look forward to hearing your comments, suggestions, your questions, whatever it may be. And I hope to hear from you guys soon, okay? You guys take it easy now. Bye-bye.